I'm Chris, aka Quilter on the Run, and today we're going to work on a little bit of an improv block. Uh, this is going to be a wonky log cabin. Log cabins are one of the easiest blocks to piece that there are, and we're going to make this one even easier. We're going to start with just a little squarish piece of fabric, and I'm going to randomly cut four straight lines. Doesn't matter if they're parallel to each other or uh, perfect angles for 90 degrees, they just have to be straight. So I'm just going to randomly cut. And basically what I'm making here is kind of a parallelogram. Preferably without dropping my rotary cutter. There we go. Okay. We just have this nice little center block here. And then you're going to need eight pieces of a light color and eight pieces of a dark color. And they can just be random prints, solids, doesn't matter. And we're going to take them and we're going to cut one straight edge on one side. And again, I'm not worried about this being perfectly square or, or straight or anything like that. In fact, I'm going to deliberately make it not. So you can see how I'm, I'm at an angle here. And I'm just going to randomly guess as to what angle that I want. Now, I've already cut my other ones. So now we're going to start sewing it. Okay, so then we're going to take our first dark piece. And we're going to line it up with any side. It doesn't matter which one. Just as long as we're flush with this edge. You want to make sure that you're hanging over a little bit on this side so that when you open it up, it'll still make a straight line. And don't worry about the big part that's left over here because we're going to cut those off and keep using them on other blocks. Okay? And we're just going to go ahead and sew this. You can use your standard quarter inch seam. Although if you want a different one, it really doesn't matter if it's not quite a quarter inch because we're not worried about points and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and press this open. And we're going to trim this one. So we're going to line up. See how I'm lined up with that first square? And I'm going to whack off this little extra bit here. And I'm going to come over here to the side. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Let's see here. There we go. It's about time to get a new blade on my rotary cutter. Okay. And we're going to still stay with dark, so I'm going to pick another of my dark colors. And same thing. I'm going to line it up a little bit past on this side and just let the other hang over. And I'm going to sew another quarter inch. And then we're going to press it open again. cut again. Making sure that we're lining up on the one side. Keep just that straight line going across. Okay. And we're going to repeat. We've done two darks. Now we're going to do two lights. And we're going to keep building that out until we've used up all eight of our blocks.
So here it is all pieced together, and it's pretty wonky, but that's okay, because we're gonna trim it up. It doesn't matter what size you decide to make these. I'm gonna make these ones 15 inch squares, but if you wanted to make 12 or 14, that's fine too. Okay, so I'm just gonna line it up here, center it as much as I can. I'm not real worried about this extra that I'm cutting off because I can reuse these on strips for the next block. There you go. One wonky uh, cabin block. Now, how many of these you need depends upon the project that you're working on. If you're gonna do a small project like say a lap quilt, you're gonna need probably nine of them. If you want a larger one like a twin or a queen, you're probably gonna be closer to 24 or 30. But again, that depends upon what size. If you make these eight inch blocks, you're gonna need a lot more than these 15 inch blocks that I made. But simple, really easy, forgiving, impossible to get it wrong, wonky log cabin block. Hope you liked it.